everything inside me. In accordance with its stated agenda of making the demon realm feel like home, the Disney Channel is releasing a program for children, called, The Owl House, that glorifies demons, witchcraft, and hell. According to Disney, the series centers around a teenage girl named Luz, who discovers a portal to another realm where humans are not well-liked, and she must disguise herself, in order to fit in at witch school. This realm, the kids' programming empire says, is referred to as Demon Town, and in it, Luz decides to live with a demon named Eta the Owl Lady, who's the most powerful witch on the Boiling Isles. Luz's character decides during one of the earlier episodes of the show that, someday, I'm going to be just like her. Meaning Luz wants to grow up not to be an honorable human woman, but rather a demon witch, like Eta. The purpose of this storyline, of course, is to teach children whose parents let them watch the Disney Channel, that being normal human beings is pass, and that it's cool to discover portals that carry you off to hell to live with demons, witches, and even Satan himself. Folks, if you think this latest Owl House show is just fantasy and fun, think again, reads a commentary written by Deborah Bunting for CBN, the Christian Broadcasting Network. The show tries to portray witchcraft as a positive tool to fight evil, she goes on to explains. That's similar to what real-life witches have been promoting over the past few years as they've been putting hexes on ex-President Trump and others, in order to fight for their beliefs. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Many parents are simply unaware of this filth being peddled by Disney and the Disney Channel, because they assume, that the network resembles the Disney programming of old, which on its surface, was clean and wholesome. In truth, Disney is actively indoctrinating child viewers into Satanism, using cartoon imaging as the lure. Over the years, Disney has gone farther and farther into the darkness of the spiritual world that opposes the living God, coming up with programming and characters that lead the vulnerable into that dark world of deception, bunting further warns. This spiritual realm that opposes God is real. Demons are real and they are out to deceive your children, and draw them in to be pawns of the enemy of their souls, the devil, otherwise known as Satan, she adds. His devices and plans are to destroy your kids and grandkids spiritually, physically, and emotionally. You must protect them from being enticed into this demonic world. Adam Hirsch, one of the voice actors on The Owl House, reportedly told Newsweek during a recent interview, that the original pitch for the show was, Girl Hangs Out with Witch in Hell. Since most parents probably wouldn't go for this, however, the network had to get creative. It's a lot like the Harry Potter book series, which is geared towards children with fun adventures, colorful storylines, and tailored writing specifically for little ears. But behind this thin facade, is a world of darkness and depravity, that sucks children in and consumes their souls. As ridiculous as the demons contained in the book may be, there is nothing innocent or fun about even pretending to summon evil spirits, says Elizabeth Johnston, also known as Activist Mommy on her blog. But who is to say it is pretend? The spirit world is real, and is no laughing matter. A notable exorcist also told LifeSite News that this Disney show is a sign of the degeneration of our society, which is pushing to make demons acceptable, while ignoring their malice and desire to do us harm. A number of classic Disney films have been pulled from the children's section of the Disney Plus streaming service after being deemed inappropriate for youngsters. 
Dumbo, Peter Pan, Swiss Family Robinson, and the Aristocats are among the titles that were axed from the children's lineup for offensive content, though adults are still allowed to access the films through their own profiles. None of these films have anything sexual or vulgar, of course. The problem is that they contain certain themes that the left feels are racist. Disney even created a whole new Stories Matter section on its website to unpack all of the apparently triggering content from its past, though it has no problem promoting satanic witchcraft for children. In the Aristocats, certain characters are depicted as East Asian peoples, complete with slanted eyes and buck teeth, the company says. According to Disney, these depictions are a form of racism because such characteristics are exaggerated stereotypical traits of Asian people. He sings in poorly accented English voiced by a white actor and plays the piano with chopsticks, the company said in a statement about the film. As for Dumbo, Disney says that certain scenes pay homage to racist minstrel shows, which is unacceptable in 2021. There is also a leader named Jim Crow who is featured in the film, which harkens back to the days of the American Civil War. Then there is Peter Pan, which displays native culture in a stereotypical manner that reflects neither the diversity of native peoples nor their authentic cultural traditions. It shows them speaking in an unintelligible language and repeatedly refers to them as redskins, an offensive term, Disney insists. Peter and the Lost Boys engage in dancing, wearing headdresses and other exaggerated tropes, a form of mockery and appropriation of native people's culture and imagery, the company added. As for the wholesome Swiss Family Robinson film, Disney says this too is a problematic feature because it shows pirates as a stereotypical foreign menace, speaking in an indecipherable language. This is apparently a racist representation of Asian and Middle Eastern peoples. It would seem as though Disney employees are seeing what they want to see in these innocent films and perhaps struggle with their own internal racist tendencies that cause them to see non-whites as stupid or unintelligible. Even so, Disney is going with it. All of these films now have content warnings about how they contain negative depictions and or mistreatment of people or cultures. Rather than remove this content, we want to acknowledge its harmful impact, learn from it, and spark conversation to create a more inclusive future together, the warnings further read. Both Lady and the Tramp and the Jungle Book contain these warnings as well, though they have not been removed from children's profiles. The Disney film Song of the South, however, has been banned from both children's and adults' Disney Plus profiles. The problem with Song of the South, which was the inspiration for the Splash Mountain rides at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland, is that its history and storyline are steeped in extremely problematic and stereotypical racist tropes. The imagery for these rides will soon be replaced by a The Princess and the Frog theme that has not yet been deemed to be controversial or offensive, but give it a few more years, and the Disney crew will surely find something wrong with it. As for the Dumbo the Flying Elephant, Peter Pan's Flight, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Swiss Family Treehouse rides at Disney theme parks, the company has not yet indicated what will become of them. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.